OMG. He's like, are you good? I was like, this fragrance is full bottle worthy. I got to get a full bottle. Of Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome if you happen to be returning. You are truly appreciated. Thank you so much, and welcome back, besties. Today, you guys, I have so many new fragrances that I am going to be sharing with you. Brands that I rarely or have never even spoke about on the channel. I have collaborated with Twisted Lily on this video, so thank you so much, Twisted Lily, for partnering with me on today's video. And I have so many new fragrances to share with you so if you want to see what they are please continue to watch here on this channel I do cover fashion beauty luxury and lifestyle all things fancy and fabulous dwelling so if that sounds like something that you'd like to be a part of stop what you're doing drop me your scent of the day because you know I want to know what you're rocking and if this seems like your vibe you're just go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button but don't stop there turn on your post notification bells because I'm posting like every day and I would hate for you to miss a video and if you truly want to become a bestie come over and say hi on Instagram slide in the DM and introduce yourself without further ado we have a lot to talk about so we're jumping into this video right now you guys oh my god I am so excited okay now listen listen this is the layout of this video I have a ton of fragrances a ton of stuff to share with you I've got a few notes I got a few opinions I played with some of these I sampled some of these and I want to bring my first opinion first impression to you leave down in the comment section below any questions that you have and and I do have a discount code I'm gonna put the discount code on the screen just in case you want to pick up anything twisted lily is an amazing brand you guys they have niche fragrances they have indie fragrances luxury fragrances and you know what I love the most is that they have samples you are able to try before you buy and you know that is one of the things that I have even started my entire channel with is I know a lot of you love blind buying and enjoy it go for it but if there's any way that I can encourage you or save you a couple of dollars I'm always going to encourage you to try before you buy and Twisted Lily has so many amazing samples on their website it's very easy to navigate through I am super excited and super impressed I have seen the website and I have heard about Twisted Lily everywhere but this is my now own personal experience and I absolutely love it I love the fact that they have luxury niche brands and they do have them on their website and the website is very easy to navigate through they have some of my favorite like BDK they have Baccarat Rouge 540 my favorite and they even have the new body shimmer oil I was like blown away like oh okay this is good good I cannot wait to share this with the girls and the guys over on my YouTube channel so yes I do have a discount code it will be linked in the description box below I I believe it's charade 10 but you already know check the description box for accuracy but you guys I definitely want you to sign up for their newsletter because they do have promotions they do have offerings different things that I don't want you to miss out on or not be able to take advantage of so definitely I would encourage you to sign up for their newsletter I have so much to say I cannot get this all out there's one fragrance that they sent I took a test or not a test I took a quiz so that they can know what type of fragrances to match with me I told them what I like I told them I like patchouli, oak moss, burning leather, pepper, just hot stuff, right? They sent two fragrances over and I was like, oh my gosh, they're just samples of these fragrances so that I could have seen if I really liked them. I am so excited to talk about them. So grab a snack, we might be here for a minute. The first house that I'm gonna talk about is Valheim Perfumery, is this one here. They have a box, there was two inside of this Discovery set. That's another thing with Twisted Lily. They do have Discovery sets for you to play with. You can check them out, they have tons of them in there. Uh, I seen one for Memo, I seen one for Zerzhov, I seen one for Valheim Perfumery, I seen one for, so many other ones. Like I said, go on the website, have a peruse of their website. I wanted to try out this brand, I had heard so much from it there are two fragrances in here that I wanted to try out with you all I will be back and follow up and do a few more so the two that I do want to just briefly touch on is this one that I've heard so much about which is morning I believe it's morning chess you already know I could be making that up but I believe it's morning chess let me see how I feel about that this would be my first impression yep I could see why it's kind of green oh my god Gosh, this is good. It's very different, but it's green. It's um, it's kind of classy. I get sophistication. I definitely get signature scent worthy. Oh my gosh. Right off initial spray, 
This is good. I really like this. Oh, and then I wanted to try mango skin. I heard so much about this. Now this one I already went on. I already played with. This is like a gourmand fruity fragrance. I had heard so much about it. I had to get my nose on this one. So this one I did play with. It's sexy. Yes, it's sexy. It's good. I love it. Out of all of the ones that I played with, this is my favorite. Poets of Berlin or Berlin was really nice too. But this, this sexy, fruity gourmand just, it makes my mouth water. It makes my mouth water. If you have this one, Mango Skin, leave it in the comment section below. I wanna hear from you. I wanna know your thoughts. I absolutely love this. You guys, we have a lot. I cannot stay on them, but I will be back. But I just wanted to let you know, this is what the box looks like. This is what it looks like. So they come out of here. You can play with them. It's a great way to explore fragrances. Try before you buy. See which one you really like before you make the full commitment. The next one that we are going to try out of this particular one is Poets of Berlin. I did want to try this one as well. I told um, my friends, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited to be trying this collection today. And it has not disappointed. This one here, I have heard nothing but amazing things about. So oh now see mm, this is a little different though okay but still mango skin is where it's at for me this is nice this is good this is pretty this is classy this is sophisticated in a whole different way it's good it's really good but i still am thinking Poets of Berlin. It's, I mean, I'm still thinking mango skin. The fruity gourmand sexy note for me, it's uber, uber sexy. I'm still sticking there. I have to play with so many more of these, you guys, so I will be back to let you know more. But this is one thing that I can tell you that's after my own heart. Try before you buy. I have all of these here to play with, to sample, to see how I feel about them, how the dry down is, how it wears on my body, how the longevity goes. And then when I find the one that I want, I can hop on Twisted Lily and make a full purchase. I move on. This is another discovery set. This is by Mimo. And this is just like a fragrance journey discovery set here. They've got some leather ones in here. They've got my favorite in here, which is Marfa. And this one is, I believe, Art of Land. The Art of Land. Am I making that up? I could be. This is what the inside looks like. So you'll get a whole discovery set in here to play with. It's really nice to just explore. So my favorite out of this one is Art Land. It's Artland. That one here is so good, so super sexy, so seductive. You already know it's so bad because I like all of the same fragrances. But, oh God, it's so good. It's so good. And it, you know how you smell a fragrance and you're like, this is so me. This is so me. I love this. This is really good. I do not, I don't have a full size bottle. I have a sample travel mail of this one. So I knew that I would love this one. But this one here is really good. I wanted to try more and explore more from the house because they have a lot of fragrances that have leather down in the base. So I definitely wanted to try this one. This one is called African Leather. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. See, this is the kind of fragrances I like. African Leather. Now that's good. I need to put a note by that. Oh my gosh. It's leather. It's kind of hot and heavy like oud something spicy something hot smells like a pepper it smells like a pepper oh my gosh this is definitely a unisex fragrance because i could see my guy wearing this this right here is good good oh i love it okay one more one more irish leather let's see irish leather mm, that's different oh my gosh but it's good it's definitely different. It's, it's, the niche fragrance is over here on this side. They just hit different. Oh my gosh, this is good. Let's do French leather. Mm. Oh, that's different. French leather. It's a little lighter. It doesn't come in as strong as the other two, as African leather or, or Irish leather. It doesn't come in as strong um, as Irish leather or African leather. This is French leather. This is a bit lighter. This is kind of on the side of like, um, like a gin and tonic, like a spritzer. I say that because it's very refreshing. This is more of a refreshing one. This would probably be more of an easier one to wear. Perfect for daytime. Um, I don't really get going out date night, hot, heavy, sexy, oud, oak moss, none of that. I don't get that. I get fresh. I get clean. I get more, like I said, gin tonic, a spritzer, a hot summer day. 
Yes, that's what it's giving. Okay, this definitely looks like something that would probably be for daytime. It has jasmine in it. It has opmanthus. Oh, mm. nah, that one wouldn't be. I'm gonna put the name on the screen, but this one, no. That one isn't it, but that's why I love to try before I buy it. Because what if I would have bought that one just going off notes? Because I love those notes, but actually that wasn't one of my favorite in the in the um, discovery set. One of my favorite is actually African leather and Irish leather. So this is why I'm a huge fan of try before you buy. And with discovery sets, this is a great way to go because you get tons of them in there to decide which one you really like. And it comes with a nice little note card that gives you all the information. I love that. I move on. Okay, you guys, let's try some from Zerzhov. Now this brand is new to me. I mean, I don't own one fragrance full size bottle from this brand at all. I don't even really know in all honesty, a whole lot about the brand. I have seen it everywhere. First impression. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, this is really good. It's got bergamot, lemon, lavender, jasmine, honey, cashmere and wood, tobacco leaf. Oh my gosh, vanilla beans, this is good. Okay, this is good. This next one is called Renaissance. Okay, let's see what Renaissance is giving. This is bergamot, mandarin, lemon, rose, mint, lily of the valley, cedar wood, patchouli, amber, and musk. This is lighter. This is definitely giving me light, and a lot of lemon. Yeah, eh, that's not my favorite. It's very clean, it's very, it's a lot of lemon. It's a lot of lemon in there. Now this one has pineapple, jasmine, Irish, pink pepper, vetiver, patchouli, vanilla, musk, and let's see what it's giving. Oh, now this is good. This one is in the purple bottle. This is, oh. Oh, now that's good. That's more my speed. Alexandria too has notes of apple, cinnamon, rosewood, lavender, lily of the valley, Bulgarian rose, vanilla, musk, amber, sandalwood. Let's give it a spritz and see how it smells. I'm gonna pass. Oh God, no. Nope. Not that one, it's not for me, it's not for me, it's not for me, it's not for me. But I am happy that I got to explore the fragrances because now I know which ones I would, you know, might consider full size bottles or which ones were just nice to have. I move on. That was the discovery set for Zerja. A lot of times you guys are always asking about Montau fragrances. I don't own any Montau fragrances. Full bottles, no. Samples, yes. This one is called Arabians and I believe it's just Arabians. I played with this. This right here is in the gold bottle. It has cardamom, it has lavender, rose, patchouli, vetiver, oud, leather, ambergris, and ambergris and musk. This is good. When it first, when it first opens up in the beginning, you get the lavender, you do get it. It smells very fresh, very clean. It's got cardamom in the beginning, but as it dries down and it sits on the body, this right here is good, good. This is set at XC. Yes, 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 yes. I said it, it is sexy and it is after my own heart. This is good. Something in it, you get the ambergris in there and it has oud and it has leather. That's what it is and it has vitro. All my favorite notes. So they matched me so well with the fragrances that they gave me as samples. This is what I said I like. This is what they delivered. And this is good, good. I will definitely say if you have not tried that one, definitely check it out. The other one that I tried from the Montau brand, because I'm always, like I say, get questions about this brand, is Montau, and this one is called Arabian Tonka. Now this is really good too. This is a little bit darker, a little bit heavier, a little bit more sexier. It's got the Tonka bean in there, the amber, it's got oak moss, it's got saffron in the opening, it's got oud, it's got rose. It's all those same notes. I like what I like. Oh my God, it is good. They came in these two samples here. These are the two samples that I played with. I love both of them. They were both really, really good. Now this one is, I believe the brand theme. And this one is Royal Sapphire. If you can see that there, I did play with this. You guys, this is why I have a 2.5 story time. This is why I tell you to play with fragrances, try them on, allow them to do a wear down test on you, a dry down test on you. Take a few minutes to play with the fragrance. Immediately I got this, I opened it, I sprayed it and I was like, nope, it's a pass. It's no, it smells like Irish Spring soap. It smells like, um, you know, that green bar of soap, Irish Spring. I think I'm saying that right. Yeah, it smells like that soap. I'm like, oh no, it's a hard pass. It's like a no, no, no. But 
as it dried down and I let it sit on my body, I was like, OMG, the dry down turned so different from the initial spray that I was like, this is so super good. But in the initial, I would have said no and never looked at it again, never thought about it twice. But I had enough in here to play with it and I was like, this is really good. So I sat with it on for probably, I wanna say about five hours. And I was like, went back into smell it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is really good. I couldn't even remember if this was the same one, but it was. But in the initial, when I first sprayed it, I was just like, oh no, I'm not gonna even review that one because I didn't really like it. The reason why it's back in here for me to review and tell you about it is because after about that, and it wasn't a quick dry down either. It didn't start shining, I would say until about 30 minutes. Up until then, I was still like saying no. But after about 30 minutes, it was amazing. So if you haven't checked out Royal Sapphire, I would highly recommend it. I was pleasantly surprised. It really turned around and became really good. This next one that I'm telling you about out of everything. Well, maybe this and Mango Skin is at a tie. And they're probably kind of in the same family realm at the same time. But I don't know, this one might be over it. You guys, this one is so super good. I have found my next full bottle worthy fragrance. The name is beautiful. I am not gonna even try and butcher it up. I have practiced saying it. I have stood in front of my mirror saying it. I still couldn't get it. I practiced, I tried, I could not get it. Let me humor you, okay? It is Ite Libre Eau d'Orange. The fragrance is called Frustration. Now, I have seen this going around. I don't have any fragrances from this brand, and this is why I wanted to check out Twisted Lily, because I wanted to get my nose on some new fragrances that I have never, ever smelled or tried before, but maybe I've seen them around, or maybe even some that I haven't seen. I have seen this brand around. I have never tried anything from it. This was my first time smelling this fragrance, and I didn't ask for it. They just sent it over, I believe, in the sample, or maybe I did. I can't even remember. But this fragrance is so super 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 good it has all of the notes that you know I love listen to the notes that it has in it rum cumin cinnamon vanilla and labdamum it has chestnut and bourbon vetiver this right here is my kind of fragrance oh my gosh I was sitting on the couch and I was telling my guy I was like I need a full bottle of this he was like can you calm down he's like are you good I was like this fragrance is full bottle worthy I gotta get a full bottle of this fragrance. So this one right here will be in my collection. Trust and believe this will be in my collection. This is frustration. Are you ready, Dwellings? Are you ready? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And you know what? I don't know what it gives me reminisce of. I, I haven't compartmentalized what it gives me reminisce of, if anything. It may be something truly unique and different to my collection, but I absolutely love it frustration. The bottle is beautiful. I've seen the bottle, the red bottle. I think it has like a clasp on it. It's gold. I've never held it, never touched it. This is just what I've seen from Googling it online and looking at it on the website. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed, I think, with like kind of reddish bottles this year. That's what's been the going trend for me. This is absolutely gorgeous. If you have this, I want to hear from you. Leave down in the comment section below. One, why you've never shared it with me and told me about it. Two, what you think about it and oh my gosh it's so good if there is one that I would highly recommend you picking up you try and start with a sample they have samples I would say get your nose on frustration this is absolutely amazing the other one that I would say you know, get your nose on is Mango Skin by Valhain Perfumery. That is another beautiful, beautiful fragrance. This has been so much fun just exploring and playing and trying fragrances with you all. This is what I mean when I say try before you buy. It could be so much fun. Also, you guys, do not forget to check out Twisted Lily. I do have a discount in the description box below. And shout out to Twisted Lily for collaborating with me on today's video. I truly appreciate you. Until next time, besties, I will see you in the next one. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye. If you like these kind of videos where I'm just trying fragrances and we're exploring and discovering discovery sets and stuff together, give this video a huge thumbs up and leave a comment about it because I have tons of fragrances that we can do this with. I'm huge on try before you buy. I've sat with samples two years before I've bought the full fragrance before. All right, I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.